Hi everyone, so it's Sunday the 29th of January. I'm out in Girona, so I thought I would kind of do a little update on a week in the life of a pro triathlete, and hopefully some of you find that interesting. So I thought I would literally just run through kind of a day-to-day -day basis on what I've done this week. The week as a whole, I aim to fit in five swims, five rides, five runs, and three gym sessions with the number of training sessions that I kind of have to get done. I prefer not to take a full rest day because it just means the other days become too busy. So rather than that, I just have an easy day, which I tend to put on Monday. So on Monday, that started with just a one hour swim, 3.6K aerobic zone two, and then followed straight up with a gym session. At the moment, two of my gym sessions, I'm lifting heavy for me and kind of like squats, split squats, maybe some heavy pull stuff for the swimming, single leg press that kind of thing. Tuesday, I guess, is where the week properly starts. And I had another 3.6 to 4K swim plan, but this time with some intensity. So for me, this was my only intense swim of the week. I then followed this up with a two and a half hour ride and a one hour run off the bike. Wednesday is typically when I do my longer ride. So I did a five hour ride and then a half an hour run straight off the bike. That was actually a like a good day out, legs felt good, really enjoyed doing what I'm doing. Thursday was 90 minutes on the bike, an hour in the pool, and then another heavy gym session. So actually not a massive day, but I did that 90 minute ride on my race bike because it's starting to get to the point where I want to ride that more and more outside. Obviously the position's very different. So yeah, I was just getting time on my TT bike. And then Friday was quite a big day. Uh, I did like 5.8K in the pool, all easy aerobic, quite tedious mentally. But yeah, that's, that's a long session for me. We're slowly increasing the volume that I'm able to tolerate, but yeah, 5.8K was quite with a long swim then came home and headed out on the bike for two and a half hours again on my race bike and included a 30 minute tempo effort it's been a little while since i've done those kind of efforts so it hurt more than i would have liked to be honest and then following that two and a half hour ride i had a 70 minute run which i did super easy like i think 4 30 per k pace so all aerobic i'm not doing any run intensity at the minute or i haven't done the last two weeks saturday was then yesterday a three and a half hour ride followed by a 40 minute run on paper not a hard day in practice ended up being a bit of a struggle the weather here i mean i can't complain because i'm sure it it's better than the uk but it was like two or three degrees and i really didn't dress appropriately so i spent a lot of that time <laughs> really really cold thankfully i bumped into a mate and kind of joined him he was doing some efforts when i met him he had like two times nine minutes at like threshold to do so i kind of sat on his wheel it's not often i will do efforts that i haven't been planned but i was really in need of some company at that point in the ride so i decided it was okay my legs felt okay so yeah that ride ended up having a bit of threshold work in it which was fine and then the run i didn't do straight off the bike i had to warm up again like once i finished but yeah the run was just 40 minutes so not too challenging and then today sunday started with a two hour run which was actually really nice oh man it is absolutely freezing my ears are completely gone and i can hardly speak but i've stopped because this view i just ran around that corner and like like you can see these snowy mountains in the background it's just absolutely stunning and yeah apologies my mouth isn't working right now <laughs> went into the hills which was good like i get a bit of strength in the legs i did a couple of hill runs last week but it's been a while since i've done my long run in the hills and i find that really beneficial for kind of building leg strength especially extended time like descending running downhill i find that definitely helps carry over and makes me feel a bit more robust whether it has an impact on how fast I can run a flat half marathon. I don't know. It makes me feel better. So there's that. And you know, Girona is great. It's a pretty unique place where you can live in the center of a city and within 500 meters, you're in the mountains on trails. Yeah, so that was good. And then after running, had another easy hour in the pool and my core gym session. So not lifting too heavy, but working on like stability for running, ankle strength and core strength. So yeah, that was my entire 
entire week of training this week. In total, it was around 27 and a half hours of moving time. The gym time is a bit subjective. You know, I'm normally in the gym for an hour for each session, but when I'm doing heavy reps, I kind of have long rests in between. So I normally just put my gym sessions in as half an hour each. Sometimes it's more, it, well, it's never less, but sometimes it's more. So take the 27 and a half with a pinch of salt, but yeah, 20K in this pool, just over 15 hours on the bike and nearly five and a half hours running, which was just over 70K for the week. But yeah, that's my week. I will put last week up on screen as well now. So you can see the trend, which is basically do the same thing over and over again. I didn't have any intensity on the bike last week and my swim volume was a tiny bit lower. So that's the kind of trend we're going towards. But yeah, that's been my week and probably a very similar thing for the next two weeks before having a slightly easier week, which will likely be the same kind of structure, but with half the volume. Yeah, let me know if you found this interesting. If you wanna see more, if you wanna know more about the method behind what I'm doing or why I'm doing certain sessions or certain amounts of volume. I have previously posted like things on Instagram explaining a little bit of that over the last couple of months. So if you don't follow me on Instagram and you wanna know, go check them out. But otherwise, thank you for sitting through this video and I hope it was interesting.